This is Dawn Mabry Chestnut, financial planner and investment advisor. I just wanted to create a quick little video to share with you three things um, to be sure to zone in on if you're considering uh, purchasing solar panels to have installed on your home. Um, the first thing to zone in on is the tax credit. Many um, individuals consider uh, installing solar panels um, and the tax credit is a big part of that consideration. So just want you to be aware that the tax credit is a non-refundable tax credit, which means that the tax credit can only be applied if you have a tax liability. So if you are installing solar panels in a year where you, where you do not owe taxes, then that means you cannot use that tax credit um, for that year. Um, the tax credit can be carried forward. Any unused tax credit can be carried uh, forward into future years, but just make sure you dig into de the details to understand how long can that tax credit be carried forward um, to ensure that you get the full credit when you are able to use it in the future. Um, another thing to zone in on is the type of property that you are having the solar panels installed on. If you are just getting it to a residence that you and your family live in and there's no business being operated out of that, uh, uh, that residence, then that is usually the sort of cleanest, less complicated way to go about it. But if you are running a home-based business out of the property where you want to have the solar panels installed, the use of the tax credit can get a little complicated. So just make sure you understand those rules around um, those instances. Also know that if you are installing the panels on a rental property on a vacation home that you use. You can only claim the tax credit if you live in that property for at least part of the year. So ensure you fully understand those rules around the property type. And last but not least here, we are gonna talk about the break-even point. And the break-even point is just um, a simple concept, financial concept, that's when the total revenue from the panels that it will bring into you equals the total amount of expenses you pay to buy the panels and have them installed. I think if you are looking into solar panels, you know that uh, the panels can generate additional income for you that is beyond uh, the actual monthly electric bill savings that you can have. So just make sure you understand when that total uh, revenue credit that will come in from the energy production of the solar panels on your house when it will at very least um, reach the point of all of the expenses you went into buying the panels and installing them. So I hope you find this information uh, helpful. At the very least, when you're considering solar panels, make sure you're uh, considering uh, the options from several different companies if you happen to have more than one company in your area and get a third party non um, judgmental um, review of the quotes to help you understand um, what your true cost will be. Thank you for listening. I hope you found this information useful. Remember, you can follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, and you can also visit my website. Also remember that all the information provided in this podcast is meant for educational general purposes only and is not intended to be personal financial advice. Until next time, this is Dawn Mabry Chestnut signing off.